Well, Wooly here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Ridgeline Monsoon Classic Smock. Right, guys. So, a little while ago, I posted a video and some uh, and some photographs and stuff about uh, about the fact that Ridgeline had chosen me as a brand ambassador, and they had sent me some stuff. Okay, so they sent me my trousers, this fleece, the glacier fleece, and this uh, this thermal as well. Okay, so. I've been holding off on reviewing this uh, the the smock because I just wanted to give it a good wear, okay? Uh, I wanted to take it out. I wanted to test it in all environments. I wanted to test it in the rain, the wind, and blah blah blah, in the mountains, in the fields, everything, okay? So what we have here is we have uh, a Gore-Tex-like material on the inside of this, okay? You can see here all seams are taped. Okay, but on the outside, it's got like a brushed finish, so it's very quiet. Okay, so it's no, you know, and it doesn't reflect. Uh, sorry, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't make noise in the wind. You can you can crawl about with it. Yeah, come on. Okay, so it is a smock, so it is an over the over the head thing. Okay, and it is. When I first got it, I was like, oh, "This, this is a bit of a mad-looking thing." Even you know, and I, I've worn buffaloes, buffalo jackets for a long time, and this is this is definitely not a buffalo jacket. It's completely different. Okay, similar but different. Okay, so we have waterproof zips on the chest pockets. Okay, not here on 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 the on the neck zip because you don't need it because it has this big big storm flap that goes over the front here. Okay, it is quite long, so it, it does come down to about. Just about here when you're standing up, just at the top of the pockets. Okay, so just about there. Okay, which ma which actually makes it really, really functional because there's no the wind doesn't get up your jacket. Okay, and you can sit on it. Okay, so velcro sleeves, all that jazz. Okay, very well made, very very well made, very comfortable, warm, not not overly warm like. On a, on, a, on a sunny day, I would just take off this fleece and wear it over the top of it. Uh, it, it works well. I know people used to say that they were extremely warm, but I, I've been out walking in it all day. It is quite a cool day, and I've, I have two layers. This would be three, and this would be my, my, my outer layer. So, put it on. Okay. Well, Cooter. Well, Pockets. What are you up to? And that's it. Nice big generous hood. Okay, which is exposed at the sides that I like, which means that you you still have a good field of view. All right, but when you zip it up, it becomes snugly. Okay. What you can do as well is if you tighten these. It actually traps the heat in. Now, when I was coming up here, I wanted to keep my camera handy. So, I actually just shoved my camera down in here. And these stopped my camera from falling out. Okay, added bonus. I bet you Ridgeline didn't think of that when they, were, when they were making it. So, is there anything I would change on it? Yes, there's actually a few things I would change. And I've been thinking about this over the last couple of months. And this is the classic smock. They do have an elite smock, okay, which is uh, which is slightly more expensive. But everything that I would change, anything that I would make different about this smock, is actually the elite smock. You know, so I was thinking about it. Oh, it'd be nice if it could do this. Oh, it'd be nice if it had this. It'd be nice if it had a pocket here. It'd be nice if those hand warming pockets here. But all those things are on the elite smock, okay. So uh, intent bridge line. So if uh, for a, a fleece lane hand warmer pocket get the elite smock okay i think it, the elite has neoprene cuffs on the inside here as well just to stop water from from rolling down in, into your sleeves pockets sorry the dog nearly knocked the camera over but I, i've never had an issue with it you know so oh yeah so. let's just see if i can find this somewhere to stand there so this is it guys this is how low it comes down Okay, you can see the long tail in the back. All right, it's very comfortable. It's very nice to wear. You know, very very nice to wear. 
Uh, so you tighten this up and that just creates, just make sure that the draft definitely doesn't get up to your core here, to your chest. Okay, so, so far so good. I, I really can't find any issues with it at all. Uh, like if you are looking for something like this or you're looking for, a, I think it's a Swazi they're called, which are mental money. Oh my God, they're mental money. These things run for about 150 to 160 pound online. So what I would be saying is try one of these. Uh, first time I tried it on, I went, I like this. I like this a lot. And since I've worn it, I like it even more. So that's, that's a, a thumbs up from Wally. Two thumbs up actually. And what I'd say is guys, you know, if you're on the fence about buying it, just buy it. Lovely, they're really, really good jackets. And they're fluffy. Fluffy. And they're soft. Like, nearly like mole skin. That's what they feel like, mole skin. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.